Hi, my name is Rob Funder, recently retired Technical and Manufacturing Manager at Alco International. Alco International prides itself on being innovative in our product development. One of the products that we developed some years ago was the Alco ESC, stands for Electronic Stability Control. What we identified in the market was that there was a need for us to add some extra comfort and security to the towing public. So what we developed was a braking system activation unit, which mounts underneath the floor of the caravan and senses the sideways movement or the G-forces that are generated under a sway or a manoeuvre. I'll just take you through some of the bits and pieces of the ESC and give you a bit of an indication of how they work and what they look like. This is the ESC module. It mounts underneath the floor of the caravan. And what it does, you've heard uh, motor racing terminology and uh, pilot terminology of G-forces. What we're doing with the ESC is we're measuring the sideways movement and the G-forces that are generated in a sway or a manoeuvre of avoidance. And as such, we apply all of the brakes on the trailer all at once with a certain amount of power output to bring the whole lot back under control and slow down the event and give you much more control over what you're doing. We have a wiring harness, which most of you won't see, but it plugs in with a 14 pin connector underneath the floor of the van, runs through the wiring as most electronics net A's connected. And we have a, an LED indicator light, which is mounted on the front of the caravan. So we'll take you through the process of hooking up the ESC and we'll show you that the indicator light goes from red to a solid green or flashing green and you'll be ready to hit the road for a safe travel for the future. Okay, so we're in front of the van now, we're gonna do a quick hitch up and I'll show you how the ESC connects and what it should look like. Um, just general stuff when you're hitching up, just remember as you're lowering your toe ball down, ensure that your coupling has properly engaged on the ball and always remember to release the safety trigger on your coupling, very, very important. Next thing we need to do is to connect up our safety chains. And when you are connecting up your safety chains, we certainly recommend you to cross the chains. It gives a bit more added security. Now, if your trailer is above two ton in, in mass, it will have a breakaway system and that needs to be connected. So then the final part of connection is your connectors. So if you have a look at this caravan, it's got an absolute plethora of them, look at them all. So what we do with ESC, when we do an installation on ESC, it either connects to an Anderson plug, like this one, a red Anderson plug is ideal because it identifies it separate from your other Anderson plugs, or via a 12 pin connector. So when you've got those connections on this stage, we've got the ESC connected to the red one, we connect that in and you're just about ready to go. Now, just before I plug in the red Anderson plug for the ESC, we'll take a shot and show you exactly what happens with the LED. So as you plug the LED in, you'll find that it will go to red. It will sit there for a second or two while it does a self-diagnosis and then the ESC indicator light will turn to green. So here we have it, we've gone from red to green. The green is a self-diagnosis that tells us the unit is safe, ready to go, and you're off on your holiday with some added security behind you. Okay, so we've been through the connection at the front, the setup of the caravan. Um, one thing to remember is that if you're using any sort of level rides, uh, please continue to use those because ESC is not designed to eradicate sway, it's designed to in intervene should sway or a wild manoeuvre occur. So whatever you're using for that stabilising, continue to use. Okay, so when you're on the road, how do you know if the ESC is being activated? Well, what happens normally with a sway event is it'll start to progressively increase and get worse and worse and worse. And what ESC is designed to do is to intervene and correct that situation when it gets to some critical levels. For example, in a sideways sway, you're hitting about 0.2 G sideways. Not that that's a big indication for you, but it's, it's an indication as to when the unit is going to come in. Now, should you be traveling along the road and you have something come out from the left-hand side or the right-hand side unexpectedly, if you hit a 0.4 G one-way movement, the brakes will apply and you'll feel them come on, hold on for a period of time until the unit senses that it's got everything back under control and then the brakes will release and you can travel on normally. One of the questions we quite often get asked is, what happens if I take my caravan on an off-road condition? If you're towing on normal corrugated bumpy roads, dirt roads, not a problem. Leave your stability control fully connected and operational. If by chance you're going to be doing what we call rock hopping, where you're going to get the caravan up to a very high angle over high boulders, 
serious off-road work, then we would certainly insist that the ESC be connected through an Anderson plug so that you can disconnect the ESC function while you're in off-road mode and still retain your braking requirements. But for normal corrugated road use, leave it connected, it'll function beautifully. If we talk now about some of the things that may occur while you're experiencing the use of the ESC, should you develop a fault within the system, the uh, electronics within the unit will identify, for example, if you lose a magnet connection, it will identify it and you will end up with a solid red light on the ESC. So should you experience a red light indicating something is wrong in your trailer braking system through the ESC, contact the installer of the ESC and they in conjunction with Alco will help you troubleshoot what the issue is and resolve it. Should that occur, just bear in mind that the electric braking system on your caravan will still be fully functional even if the ESC is showing a red light, but what it's doing is that the ESC sway function is not operating fully. Now let's talk about maintenance. ESC is basically maintenance free. Make sure that your Anderson or 12 pin connector is well lubricated and in good condition and certainly make sure that your brakes are serviced. Make sure you read your service manual, your, your operational manual that comes with the ESC. You can download that from alco.com.au or contact your nearest servicing dealer. Travel safe.